I'm Seishizo, I'm 30 years old. I live in the Netherlands, in a town in the center of the Netherlands. And this is my fifth year of SWC. So my favorite monsters are both Lima and Gianna. I got Gianna as my first Net5 way back, like five, six years back, six years. And I got Lima pretty recently, it was between this SWC and the previous one. And I've been using them a whole bunch and those are my favorite units. So what does SWC mean to me? It actually means quite a lot. Actually, the first SWC is the reason I got into streaming and YouTubing at the first place. And from there, like I started playing like more editions of SWC. And for me, it's also a nice place of like meeting people, um, meeting the other players, but also like the, the staff behind the game itself. And also just showcasing, like I'm a competitive player and therefore I like to showcase my skills as well. And yeah, just see how far I can get this year. So this year for prelims, my uh, matches went pretty well, went 5-0. I didn't lose a single unit. And the question would be, was that luck or was that preparation? I would say for the first two matches against Liefert, there was a lot of preparation. I spent a lot of time preparing and I knew exactly what's, what was going to happen before it even happened. And I also would know that if I do this and that, that he would interact in a way that he didn't know what to do. And I think for Guts, which I played in the second round, I was less prepared because I actually prepared more for Neo. But I also prepared more for Neo because he has a very specific draft, whereas Guts plays very generic what you see on leaderboards as well. So playing through leaderboards actually was also preparing for Guts. So in most cases, I would say preparation, yes. So the question, what would you do if you win Euro Cup? That's a question you always get. I've been getting it for the last five, four, oh, four years so far. Didn't happen once, uh, but for me, the main thing, it's not really about the prize money, it's rather about like going to the world finals. Well, this year it's more special than other years because it's traveling again and I love traveling. And for me, it's also, I like to interact with like other cultures and other regions as well. So that would be the main thing for me that would be interesting about winning the European finals to go and compete against the rest of the world. So having a live audience this year, finally, very happy about that. But will it affect, affect me in my play style? Um, well, I played in 2018 with a live audience as well. 2019 was live with no audience. So I would say I'm one of the ones that's more experienced with that. So I don't think it will affect me that much. Uh, so are there any tips or tricks for players that haven't done this before? Well, it's, I would say the same with competing under pressure on like everything. Like it could be your driver's license, it could be like making an exam, could be pretty much everything. Just do what you're good at and keep doing that. Ignore the whole surrounding where you're at, that there's pressure more on the line, those kind of things. And I think that way you play better and like the way you normally play what got you here in the first place.